did grow up in Urbana, Illinois, uh, somewhere between uh, the University of Illinois and downtown Urbana. Uh, Small-scale community, uh, small-scale streets. Uh, one knew almost everyone. The, there was this great uh, a a town-gown relationship there that was, that was quite, quite wonderful. Uh, half my uh, classmates uh, were, were children of University of Illinois faculty and or staff, and the other half were both like my mom. And my mother, of course, taught at University of Illinois, both in music and in French. Okay. Most of the time, it was just a wonderful, uh, a, a synergistic environment. Uh, uh, the music school was uh, five blocks from uh, my house. Uh, the chemistry building was seven blocks from my house. Uh, the, uh, the, the world came by in a slow kind of way. The milkman drove a horse and, and would, would pull the carriage. And, uh, and we all rode bicycles and walked. Uh, there were one-car families, sometimes zero-car families. It was essentially a, a kind of walkable rural community, with the exception of the University of Illinois ov overlay, of course. I think probably the thing I remember most is uh, the beauty and the scale. And of course, I, I can't say that I really recognized that, simply because I hadn't really been around the world yet. Uh, I had been in Chicago and, and, and loved that, but loved especially coming back to Urbana and the scale of that, that wonderful city. I think uh, the, the best thing that ever happened probably uh, on a monthly basis was the, was the, the Saturday train trip to Chicago. Uh, and when we could afford it, we'd often stay in the Palmer House. Uh, when we couldn't, we'd find some place <laughs> that was less expensive. But the, 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 first of all, the train ride was something every kid, everyone uh, should love, and I totally loved that whole feeling of leaving from downtown Champaign and getting off in the middle of Chicago, and then enjoying that great city with the skyscrapers, in incredible power of skyscrapers along Michigan Avenue, and of course there are a lot more uh, there now than there were. And the, but the buildings I remember were uh, the, uh, the planetarium, the aquarium, the Museum of Science and Industry. The Art Institute was quite a bit smaller in those days, but that was a real highlight. But the, the, the beauty probably beyond the institutions, of course, was the lakefront uh, and, and, and the, the remnants of the Dan Burnham, the brilliance of Dan Burnham and, 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 and Olmsted and the, and the days of uh, the civic, civic work that was done turn of the century in Chicago. And we were aware of that. Uh, mother was a student of that kind of thing. Dad, Dad and I uh, loved to ask her questions about it. She had most of the answers. So I think I, I think that had a lot to do with my love of urbanism, and also my love of, of uh, rural communities. And, and but basically, um, that had to be a great balancing um, uh, aspect of, of my life in the early days. <laughs>